Hello YouTube. No, this is not an ad for this uh, product. I watched a, uh, a video about how to insulate your cooler to compete with some of the uh, high dollar insulated coolers and you may not be able to tell easily but this is a 48 quart igloo cooler. Um, it's been uh, camouflage painted and used and stacked in a in a boat and with hunting gear and so forth so it's a little scuffed but uh, uh, I'll show you what I'm about to do for this experiment okay inside the uh, cooler so just wanted to show you that this is just a standard igloo cooler and I believe it's a 48 quart um, I do have a uh, 16 pound bag of ice that I just purchased and uh, just put the bag in the uh, drain is closed and what I'm going to do is measure the uh, water loss uh, each day um, we'll see how many days I need to uh, measure it to see how long it takes to melt now this is on my uh, I live in uh, southeast Tennessee and this is out on my screened in porch so it is covered but it is outdoors and it's incredibly warm and humid uh, happy 4th of July by the way and if, uh, if you're a veteran thank you so much for your service and uh, what I intend to do with this is let's see how this cooler uh, insulates and keeps ice uh, before I inject the lid with the uh, with that foam product so that's the experiment is apparently the lids on these things are not uh, insulated however the bodies supposedly are so uh, the other video uh, showed a fellow drilling some holes and then spraying the uh, expanding foam inside and then you silicone up the uh, the holes and that's supposed to make a difference so uh, he got a lot of complaints because he did not do a before and after video to show the uh, effectiveness of this so I'm gonna do this a couple of different ways I'll show you the other way I'm going to measure this but for the meantime I'm going to uh, close this up and then we'll check it again in a day and uh, drain whatever water has, uh, has leaked from the bag and um, and then we'll just measure that on a on a daily basis and uh, and see what the water loss is and that should tell us uh, something about uh, the melting okay this is a uh, kind of a baseline comparison so this is a uh, an arctic cooler so they're a competitor to the yetis uh, quite a bit cheaper and uh, got this one on sale from a uh, one of their fourth of july sales it was actually a really good deal and now this is a 65 quart so it is a larger cooler I didn't have a, a 48 in this brand but you can see this is one of those well insulated you know bear proof coolers and so forth and I've got an identical 16 pound bag of ice in this so this is really my control uh, measurement so I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to uh, just measure the uh, the water loss on a daily basis and compare the already insulated cooler with the uh, with the igloo and uh, we'll do a before and after with the igloo so once uh, once the ice melts and I get the drain rate on it or the melt rate then I will go uh, insulate the lid and uh, take care of that I can show that as part of the video this may be a long one so sorry about that and then uh, and then we'll do the uh, comparison again and see just how uh, just how the change in uh, insulation in the lid uh, differs from the original and compares to one of these uh, pre-insulated coolers thanks okay it's been two days and this is the 16 pound bag of ice that I took out of the uh, igloo cooler it still has some ice in it but we're going to see how much water this produces from the melting ice and uh, hasn't quite been two days it's been about uh, oh, 38 hours so uh, close enough ok 
Okay, it's uh, day number two. There's my 16 pound bag of ice. It's uh, at the bottom ripped out so everything could fall into the cooler. And I've got, I took out 224 ounces of melted water, measuring it with this cup. And I've got uh, probably not even a cup of ice still in the in the cooler. So now the trick is going to be to foam insulate the lid and run the test again and see what impact if any putting expanding foam in the lid um, has on the insulated value or properties of, uh, of the cooler. And as a secondary control experiment I do have this, uh, this other cooler which is uh, an Arctic brand cooler. This one is a uh, competitor to uh, Yeti and I put the same uh, size 16 pound bag of ice in this one two days ago and surprisingly this one has melted quite a bit as well. Um, I would have thought that this would have kept the ice colder uh, longer. Um, that's got a lot of water in it but it's still got a lot of ice. I'm not sure uh, that this Arctic cooler did any a better job than the uh, than the igloo, so uh, uh, maybe that goes to show that you can spend a lot of money on a cooler and uh, it may not work. So um, anyway, that's just sort of a secondary control experiment. I will drain this one in a few minutes and see how much water I took off of that, just for comparison. And then uh, once I start the uh, foam process, I'll restart the video. Okay, now I'm going to uh, drill the holes, and uh, some of the comments on the other video suggested using a non-stick spray on the lid to uh, make any excess foam cleanup possible, easier. So I'm drying the lid out, and then I'll hit it with the non-stick. And then we've got to figure out what size hole to drill.